Hello everybody, it's Darth Shockwave here. Uh, today I'm going to do a, another review. This is today I'm going to carry on the Lego Star Wars vehicle review today. Uh, today's review is going to be on a vehicle and a model that not many people own and not many people know of. Because this is a model you can't buy in the shops, you can only buy it directly from Lego. You know, the Lego shops or Lego.com. Uh, today's review is going to be on the Republic Fighter Tank. If you're familiar with the Star Wars Battlefront games, this is where that vehicle comes from. So don't expect to find this in any of the movies. This is purely from the computer games. In actual fact, it made its first appearance in the 2002 computer game Star Wars The Clone Wars, which came out on the GameCube. It's quite a nice little game, actually. And then it made it then, uh, of course, that game was made by the same studio that made the two Battlefront games which are like among the best of the Star Wars games so they just took the design of that tank and put it into the Battlefront games and so yeah, it was a really good vehicle to, try to play it us in the, in the games I've been playing it quite well and doing quite well that vehicle anyway on to the, on to the review this vehicle came out last year and it retails for about £50 it's still available now, I think, at legoshop.com and, uh, of course, the Lego shops themselves. And it's a, it's a nice vehicle. It's got... It looks like it's hovering. It's actually got... Um, I'll just show you. It's actually got these four disc wheels on the bottom to simulate it floating. Yeah. It only comes with two minifigures. First one is just a generic, hang on, stand up, just a generic clone commander with the clone stuff. Yeah, the commander stuff, the small gun, skirt armor, the pole dune, and the visor. You can have one with lights that go in there and an antennae that go in there as well. The other guy comes with is sitting comfortably in the gun turret. I also have another man inside. Let's just lift this up there. I have another man inside. He's he's actually a clone gunner, but I put him in there because he looks like he's a driver. He's from the Clone Wars Battle Pack. That's how you get your figures in and out of that part, by the way. But it's a lovely little model. Build time, I'd say about two hours. No more than two hours, really. It has got some sticker details down here. That's fine. I've learned to live with stickers. These ones up here, the Republic symbols, they're actually printed on. They're not stickers. A bit dusty, unfortunately. Uh, I'll show some of the features on this model. Uh, first, first off, when well, you've got the two troopers in there, every, every single decent self-respecting clone trooper needs his gun. So, where they are is they're hidden. And these little compartments down here. There's one there. And another one there. Nicely built into the design of the ship. Now this also has hidden missile launcher. Unfortunately I left them out so it doesn't reveal the surprise. But I'll show you how they go. Which is fold away nicely like that. Have some nice ground clearance as well. You can fold them over while this is on the ground. So just flick them out and the missiles come out I'll just close the guns it also has a rotating gun to it which the man who comes out from that there operates rotating side cannons if you play Battlefront 2 you'll know this gun is the one with that that the second player sits in and fires a massive blue beam of laser at somebody. Looks quite spectacular actually. Now I should show how we get this guy out from inside here. What you do is, I'll show briefly. There, pops up. I don't know if you saw that. Let's move around a little bit. Oh, I'm running over the commander here. There you go. What it is, is this a little, little force in the back here. See, this is actually how they would get into the tank properly you just open it down there's a little elastic band in here that lifts them up and down oops 
and then he just sits up there and quite nicely aim his gun at, at any droid that comes his way and of course in the Battlefront games these were also repainted grey and formed part of the Empire, Imperial um, yeah the Imperial fleet Imperial ground forces to my knowledge I don't know if this vehicle has popped up in the Clone Wars cartoon yet so if, if it has, somebody please let me know. Oh, another thing I forgot to say. Little engine bay for it as well. That's pretty funky. You just close it back up. I'll show you the interior. There you go. With the clone gunner operating the controls there. The window's not got much clearance there. You know, I can only see it there. That's why I've got so many monitors in there so you can look around him. Yeah, so this is one of the few vehicles made by Lego that hasn't been in any of the movies. Of course, they've done their own clone walkers and their own scout speeder bikes. This and the TIE-D, I think, are the only two vehicles that first appear in a computer game that are made by LEGO now. I don't think Hasbro have done one of these yet. So this is, you know, quite nice. Now I'll just show the rolling of it. Unfortunately it's on carpet, so, you know, on cloth, so it doesn't roll that well. Overall, I'd, I'd recommend getting this set, simply because of its, the rarity of it if you can find it from legoshop.com and it's a nice model plus I know it's a bit expensive but it's a bit of an army building and that you don't there's, there's no main characters included with it so you can get two of them and then you'd only have two you know two tanks and two two sets of clone troopers with it yeah I hope you enjoyed this review I hope it makes you think you oh, that looks a nice one um, I shall come back again and do another video review soon. It's been a nice one doing this one. Nice and easy. Nice and quick, actually. Uh, so I shall see you again soon. It's Darth Shockwave, over and out. Bye.